Capcom knew it was my birthday on October 5th, and as a gift, Capcom gave me a beta code for Street Fighter VI's CBT. Though I had to go to Kabukicho to get the CBT. This is the PlayStation 5 version you're looking at here. Upon loading the game, you get to make your own custom character. Here is Z-Man in the Street Fighter VI world, and then we're off to the races. It took me a second to figure out how to change my controls the way I want them to. I use the classic setup, but the default is the modern setup. Once I got my controls sorted out, I picked Jimmy and was off fighting in the streets. The only things that were in the beta were the battle hub, ranked and unranked matches, and a training mode. I haven't been playing much Street Fighter recently, so in some of my footage I am playing poorly. Hell, even after a lot of practice, I still played bad, but I got my rank up to Silver 1 before the beta closed. And after a weekend of Street Fighter 6, I have to say, this gameplay is awesome. It's Street Fighter, as you know. It's definitely a more neutral heavy game than previous titles, but I play Jamie where you have to play a bit like a maniac to win. Ground movement feels a bit slower than 5, but it wasn't an issue after a few matches. The attacks feel powerful to land, and when you get a big combo, it is super satisfying. Unlike Launch 5, where the game felt a bit limited in what your characters could do, everybody here is super fleshed out with a ton of moves. Aiding that is the new drive system. You can parry attacks, use EX moves, do drive impacts, which is this game's version of focus attacks. At first, I thought drive impacts were powerful because I would get hit, then get crumpled, and be like, hey, what the heck, man? But the more I played, the more I got accustomed to it, and was doing things like throws or neutral jumps to punish my opponents. I will definitely say drive impacts are a scrub killer, but you will get used to them and find counters to them. And apparently, I was playing the game so much because a lot of people on Twitter were really molding about drive impacts, but hey, it's the beta, what can you expect? The only thing I would change about that mechanic specifically is not have the crumple in the corner. It seems a bit too, uh, too much. It's like in Monopoly where someone who owns all the railroads gets the get out of jail free card. It's a bit too much. The only character I played was Jamie and he is a ton of fun. The more drunk you get, the more options Jamie gets. You gotta get as lit as possible to stunt on boys at the club. I saw people on YouTube and Twitch pulling off some insane combos with them. God, I wish I was good at fighters. And I have been playing competitive fighters for 17 years now. A common complaint with Street Fighter V was the netcode being uh, a little uh, underwhelming at times. So how's the netcode in 6? It's um... Well, it's really damn good. I played well over 100 matches and only 6 or so were laggy. And I was playing against people in China, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Australia, and it felt like I was just playing them in person. Uh, for the most part, I got one Brazilian Ken and it was like the CD was scratched. Thankfully, you can opt out of a match if a game is laggy. Getting cooked online, the training mode is super in-depth with a lot of practice options. There are specific scenarios you can practice like anti-airs or whiff punishing. Those kind of training regimens will definitely be helpful when the full game drops. I think my only complaints about the game is that the music is, uh, is a bit mid. It isn't bad, but it isn't as standout as previous titles. Capcom is throwing a lot of money at this game. Couldn't they have gotten Suicide Boys or JPEG Mafia to make the music? Second, the playable characters look cool in motion, other than a few weird animations. The characters in the hub world look a little... off? And I'm not talking about the horrible abominations people have been making. It's like two different types of humans exist in the world of Street Fighter VI. I wonder how it will look in the full product. Fighting games in the 8th generation were a bit rough. Either having poor netcode, being hella greedy with DLC, simplifying gameplay that alienates fans, or some kind of combination of those things. Street Fighter VI is looking to create a new standard of fighting games going forward. And in general, Capcom has been on a roll the past few years, so I'm hoping they can stick the landing for VI. So, what did you think about this title? Did you play the beta? Are you looking forward to Street Fighter VI? Are you burnt out on fighters? Let me know down there in the comments. Also, I'll be doing a big old Xenoblade Chronicles 3 review, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I think that does it for me, so thank you for watching this uh, very short and off-the-cuff video, and um, yeah, I'll see you around. Later, everybody. Take care.